Hello everyone, welcome back to another family friendly art video. In today's video, I'm going to be drawing in a paint with water colouring book by a little YouTube channel called Coco Melon. Don't know if you've heard of them. How many subscribers do they have again? 120 million, what the f- Uh, yeah, so just a, a little YouTube channel. I bottled some of my insignificant YouTuber tears and I'll be using them to colour this art book. So Coco Melon has completely destroyed any ego I may have gotten from just hitting a million subscribers recently. Thank you for that, by the way. I'm definitely not worthy, but I appreciate the support. But back to the issue at hand, and that's Coco Melon. Coco Melon thinks they're the most family-friendly channel here on YouTube, and that's not okay with me. Because everyone knows that the Jordan Persigardi art channel is the king of family-friendly content here on YouTube. And I'm gonna prove it to you by transforming multiple pages of this wholesome paint with water Coco Melon art book into horrific blood splattered abominations with blood gore, detached eyeballs, and other wholesome things. Did I mention there's gonna be blood? And if you enjoy art content like this, seek help and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every single week and that way you don't miss out. I spent around 15 hours drawing in this kid's book. And yes, that does make me question, what am I doing with my life? But regardless of any depressing self-reflections I go through in my life, I've got some fun drawings for you guys. Some of these pages were a little bit hard to drastically transform from the original artwork. They're quite big pictures, so it's really time consuming to make it really detailed on each one. And because I've drawn multiple pictures, I couldn't go too crazy with the detail just for time reasons. But I still tried to do some creepy transformations. Also, I strangely found myself enjoying just painting with water in this art book. It was actually decent quality. And as a bonus, the pages tear out, so if I want to decorate my walls with some cute artwork, I can. That would not be creepy at all. Maybe I should design my own colouring book. Jordan Persigardi's Paint With Blood. Be cheaper to produce as well. There's only red. That's the only colour you need, baby. So I've got to admit something to you guys. Some of you have made me self-conscious about how much blood I paint, okay? I'm trying to restrain myself here. This is a restrained artwork with minimal use of blood. For me, there's still a lot of blood, but I'm trying, guys. I'm trying to change my ways. There's a couple of artworks in here which don't actually have any blood, kind of, I think. A little bit, maybe. You guys impressed? I'm trying to change. I'm trying to change. Have you guys been missing my Five Nights at Freddy's drawings? I don't think I drew one last week. It's been a whole week since I've drawn a FNAF drawing. I think it's time to change that right now. Get your top hats ready and let's go boys. Okay, time to add a little bit of blood. Don't go overboard, just a little bit. Okay, stop adding it to all the characters. Damn it, went too far again. I'll try on the next one. And here's my Five Nights at Coco Melon's artwork complete. Freddy fits right in with the gang. Put your hands up if you want to eat children. Some of you who have followed my channel for a while now will know that I got a new puppy two years ago. It was his second birthday just a couple days ago. And this artwork represents him perfectly. 
On the outside, it seems like there's a, a nice little cute dog, but he also has a demonic twisted side and is an absolute nightmare and barks at everything and yeah, he's just really difficult in general. I love the little furball, but sometimes I think he is a hellspawn demon in disguise. This one's dedicated to all the dog owners who get their arms dislocated every time they take their little hellspawn for a walk. I know your struggle, and I'm here for you. That sounded really creepy. Let's move on to the next drawing, shall we? I started going a bit crazy with the details on this one. It's just a lot of fun. You get in the zone doing some cross hatching, some line work, and just seeing what happens. Not thinking too hard about it, just going with the flow and drawing creepy stuff like this. Good times. I like the shattered look of all the cracks and chips kind of falling away. When I colour these pages in these colouring books, I'm not trying to make it look perfect. I'm just trying to capture my idea in a reasonable amount of time and then move on to the next one. That's something I've often struggled with as an artist. I'm also a bit of a perfectionist and I'm well aware the longer I spend on an artwork, generally the better I can make it look. So I have to make a decision how far I want to take each artwork and when I should just stop. I'm not exaggerating when I say I could spend 50 hours on one of these pages and make it look absolutely amazing, but for my sanity and mental health, do I really want to do that? Probably not. Unless I get 100,000 likes on this video, then I would, no, I'm just kidding. I already said in a previous video, I'd draw Shrek 100 times if I got 50,000 likes. We got over 50,000 likes for that video. I'm still meant to draw Shrek 100 times. Yes, I'm still aware of that. I'm just terrified to do that, and I'm really putting it off, but maybe one day I will. Please just be patient. <laughs> I need to get my mental health on point before I start that, otherwise I'll be spiralling into a swamp of darkness and never be the same again. Down the bottom we've got a line work heavy artwork, and up top we've got a Chucky inspired drawing. Speaking of which, I need to check out that new Chucky series on TV. Hopefully it's good. This video needs to be a little bit more family friendly, so I think we need a little bit of a sing-along to get back in the family friendly mood. Come on everyone, and sing along! Oh no, what's going on? This isn't the family friendly content I was expecting!
I couldn't help myself. I had to do an iconic Junji Ito reference in here. Any manga fans out there, this one's dedicated to you. It's okay everyone, I'm back. We just had some minor technical difficulties. Things are back on track. We're gonna sing a happy song and get us through the rest of the video. This is my favorite family friendly channel ever. Uh huff. Wrapping things up with the last drawing of the video, and this was probably my favorite one as well. I tried out a new silver metallic pen, which gave some really nice highlights that capture the light in a really cool way at certain angles. I don't know if it shows up the best on camera, but it looks good in person. I imagined this group of unlikely companions living in a post-apocalyptic world, infested with zombies. Maybe they're going on a supply run. They've hit a couple of meaty speed bumps along the way. Not a care in the world, the wind blowing in their hair, the occasional spray of zombie blood and guts. Probably should get that windshield fixed. Definitely not roadworthy anymore. Nah, it's fine. And that, my friends, is the end of another family-friendly drawing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much again. Getting me past a million subscribers. Definitely don't really deserve that, but let's go with it. And also, what I don't deserve is my awesome patrons. Really appreciate you all for supporting my channel. Thank you all so much, and I'll catch you in the next drawing video. Bye.